got a super 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 fast m.2 this is the van suny or is it van sunny this is a two terabyte pci express 4.0 uh nvme and it's blazing fast but i gonna tell you right now i don't know uh, an enormous amount of stuff about this other than the you know a little bit about the controller and stuff so the product uses 3d nand flash tlc which i like triple level cell memory it's gonna last longer and be nice and fast it's generally not as cheap as the quad level cells the prices are hard to argue with so yeah they've figured out how to make these tlc which are more durable uh, m.2 that make them more affordable all the time now vansuni is the manufacturer of this they they're not a marketing company they actually make these drives themselves in-house um, there's no DRAM, there's no caching, they say. But it, this it's weird because it's, how is it so fast without caching? They say that they're not doing um, any of the SLC style caching, but I I don't know, I will test it, but it's like, how are they getting these super high speeds without the, the DRAM or caching? Let me show you something right here. You see that price? That's what a retail key costs. That's silly. I always get OEM keys because they work and they're a fraction of the cost. And right now I use whokeys.com to unlock my copies of Windows. I've been heavily advocating for the LTSC versions of Windows because they don't have recall, they don't have any bloat, they don't have any spyware. The Windows 10 LTSC IoT has extended support until 2032. And then we have Windows 11, which is very similar to 10 once you strip all the nonsense off of it. And that has support until October 10th, 2034. You also have Windows 11 Pro and Windows 11 Home. And just ignore these prices. We're going to make them better. We got Windows 10 Pro, but we're at the end of life on that. So just I would recommend grabbing IoT. And then we have two different flavors of Office. Office 2016 Pro and Office 2019. These are offline versions. So you don't have to pay the monthly subscription fee. You just do the one-time fee. And then, you know, you're not going to have Copilot installed inside your copy of Office that's always, you know, watching your stuff, which is weird that Microsoft is doing that now. But yeah, this is the way to get around all that. Just don't sign in with your Microsoft account. So look at all these prices. We've got a coupon over here for the Halloween sale. Sale. But let's just go through Windows 11 Pro and I'll show you how to save even more money with coupon code TS25. Let's go ahead and check out with our copy of Windows 11 Pro. All right, just put in my card info. There we go. Click on View Keys and Codes. Once you get to the user center, click on Get the Key. You'll see your key right here in the middle. Go ahead and highlight that, copy that. All right, here we just need to press Start and then type Activate. You'll see Activation Settings. Go ahead and click on that. And then right here it says Not Active. That's okay. Just click on Change Product Key. Paste in our product key. Press next and then click on activate. Hey, look at that, active. Now I can come back over here and change my wallpapers and everything else, great. Don't be messing around with those exorbitant retail keys. Grab an OEM key, head over to whokeys.com. Thanks to them for sponsoring. And now on to our regularly scheduled program. Now the controller on this is actually made by Lian Yun and I'm not familiar with the controller either. And there's not a lot of information online about this controller, so I feel like what we need from Vansuni is a whole bunch more information over here on the website. Just give like right now we've got specs, you know, we've got like some pretty nice cutouts and some images, a very good price for what it is. And then not much else. There's like, we need more stuff here. So we need to know what the warranty is. I don't see that on the website. We need to know um, what the exact models for all the stuff are we I, I like to know a lot of different things about this is there slc caching and they just i don't you know it doesn't say but then they told me like no there's no caching but no no dram as well so how is it getting so fast it's really fast all right let's go ahead and test out the speeds and just see how fast it is before i do that um it does also come with this really nice heat sink and it's a it's a sandwich style heat sink meaning that the heat sink goes on the top and the bottom and sandwiches itself in there and you got a thermal pad on the top and the bottom. So they're doing everything they can to keep the heat away from this. It does add a little bit of uh, thickness to the M.2. So is this going to fit in your machine? Think about it. As long as you got a little bit of space, it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and test that out and see how fast it is. Go ahead and format this drive. And before I forget, I need to reboot and make sure that all of my M.2 slots are running on PCI Express 4. So now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and do a crystal disk mark test. And I'm also going to be monitoring. So I got two drives in there. My C drive, it's a little bit slower and it's got a much bigger heatsink because it's goofy. This one has a really big heatsink. This one has a stupid big heatsink. Anyway, we're idling at 44 right now. And the hottest that it got during all my testing was 61 degrees Celsius. And you'll see right here, we don't get quite that hot with the 
Crystal Disc Mark. Crystal Disc is theoretical performance. It's like the best. See, I'm running it on the peak performance mode. This is like what you would, um, you know, expect at the peak, but we're also gonna do a real world performance test at the end. I wanna see what everything else is, then we'll come back and do real world on this. So, all right, so next up, let's take a look at Addo Disc Mark. And here you can see all the way down here, the, the right speeds, pretty good actually. Like Addo is not uh, quite as crazy. It is more real world, not quite as real world as I would like, but still. This one is, uh, that's really fast. 5.56 gigabytes per second looks like the top. At the top, all the way at the bottom. And then over here on the read speed, 6.83, 6.85. Take a look at that. So really good read and write here with Addo. If you want to look at the uh, ins and outs per second, the IOPS over here, 158K, 140K. So looking pretty good there on the IO. Last but not least, I like to test AS SSD. I feel like this is a little more like what you're going to get in the real world. So let's take a look at our megabytes per second here on the read 6037 and on the right 5612. So another really good score right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the IOPS here. Uh, 671,190. 620,739 on the right. That's read and write respectively. Now one last test I'm going to do and we'll watch everything over here on the smart. I like to come over here to the profile and also do the real world performance. So let's go ahead and do just real world and see what that tells us. And then we'll actually do a real world test because we are in the real world. All right, for the real world test here, you can see we've got 5,351 on the read and 5,246 on the right. And I would expect to see that now once the cache fills up, it might drop down a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do some just folder drag and drop tests. I'm gonna go from my C drive, which does not go up to the same speed as this. And I'm gonna transfer some files over to the other drive and we'll just see how fast that is. So I've got this folder here, which from my Ambernick that I was doing. And let's see how big this folder is, properties. 32.9 gigabytes, so let's say it's about 33 gigabytes. I'm gonna copy this and let's just, I'm just gonna drop it in this folder that's already there, whatever. Dropping it in there. And you can see we're getting like 3.3, 3.4 gigabytes per second. Not quite this, but the drive that you're, you know, coming from is, that's a thing. So if you've got, you know, two drives the same speed, then we can talk about that. So yeah, that's still faster than most things. Let's go ahead and put this somewhere else. I'm going to copy paste it on it, you know, on this own drive right here. I've been doing all kinds of tests. So you can see about the same. But I want you to note this is 30 gigabytes and look how fast, like we're talking like 15, 20 seconds at the most. So yeah, you can really move a lot of stuff around with this. I've been doing all kinds of tests. I'll just put some more on the screen here. I did a test moving 60 gigabytes. And if you want to just see what the temperature is doing, let me do this one more time. And we'll watch the temperatures this time over here let's just grab all this stuff this whole double test folder here copy I'm just gonna paste things around all right we got all kinds of stuff moving around and we can watch the temperatures right now which are not doing much right over here see this yeah we're not doing much with the temperatures it's not getting too crazy maybe 55 C that's really low the temperatures on this are extremely low but I mean look at that case that we've got on here this crazy casing so yeah it's it's fine since we've got hardware info open I'll go ahead over here to our drives and take a look. All right, here we go. There's our two terabyte drive right here. And here's all the information. It's the drive model, Maxio technology, device ID. That's the host controller. So we got a Maxio controller on here. I'll scroll down here and just see what else, if anything looks interesting. Um, all right, yeah, critical temperature's 95. You can see we stayed well under that. So yeah, it's looking pretty good here. It seems like it's a really well-made drive. Uh, Vance, you please put warranty information on your website. Please give us more information about the controller. Uh, and please just give us a list of specs because right now it's a little bit sparse, which makes me be like, I don't know. But at the same time, the price for the speed you're getting is ridiculous. I know it's TLC memory, which usually lasts a while. It's got a really nice cooling unit on there. Um, and this controller is obviously decent enough to give us some pretty extreme uh, speeds. So, interesting M.2 from Vansuni. Thanks for sending it over. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the comments.